let W be the subspace spanned by the given vectors. Find a basis for the orthogonal complement of subspace W. And here we are given two vectors, vector W sub 1 and vector W sub 2. So to get us started, let's go ahead and let matrix A be the matrix with column vectors W sub 1 and vector W sub 2. So we have the 4 by 2 matrix, 1, negative 1, 4, minus 2, 0, 1, negative 3, 1. Then we can conclude since W is equal to the span of these two vectors, vector W sub 1 and vector W sub 2, that subspace W is equal to the column space of matrix A. Now, when we think about the orthogonal complement, and we recall our fundamental subspaces, we know that the orthogonal complement of the column space of matrix A is in fact equal to the null space of the transpose of matrix A. So to find a basis for the orthogonal complement of the subspace of W, we need to go ahead now and find an explicit description for the null space of a transpose by solving the matrix equation the transpose of matrix A times vector x equals the zero vector. Or in other words, by row reducing the transpose of matrix A augmented with the zero vector to row reduced echelon form. So here we go. We have the transpose of matrix A augmented with the zero vector. So interchanging the rows and columns of matrix A, the first row of A transpose is 1, negative 1, 4, minus 2, and the second row is 0, 1, minus 3, 1. And we're almost at row reduced echelon 4. We can take our second pivot and use that to eliminate the entry above it by adding the second row to the first row, which produces the equivalent matrix 1, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 1, minus 3, 1. And would you look at that, we have row reduced echelon form. So this is letting us know that x sub 1 is equal to minus x sub 3 plus x sub 4. That x sub 2 is equal to positive 3 times x sub 3 minus x sub 4. And that x sub 3 and x sub 4 are free variables. So writing this in the parametric vector form, we have vector x, which is a vector in R4. So we have x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, x sub 4. And we know that x sub 1 is being defined as minus x sub 3 plus x sub 4. That x sub 2 is being defined as 3 times x sub 3 minus x sub 4 x sub 3 is a free variable, so it's just itself, and x sub 4 is a free variable, so it's just itself as well. And let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit more room. So we can further decompose vector x and say that vector x is equal to the scalar multiple x sub 3 multiplied by the column vector negative 1, 3, 1, 0 plus the scalar multiple x sub 4 multiplied by the column vector 1, negative 1, 0, 1. So we can make our final conclusion and say that the null space of a transpose, which we know is equal to the orthogonal complement of subspace W, is the set spanned by the two vectors, the vector negative 1, 3, 1, 0, and the vector 1, negative 1, 0, 1. And we can also observe that the two vectors in this set form a basis for the orthogonal complement of subspace W, making this our beautiful final answer.